Central Crossing, and welcome to Monday and the start of EOC testing week. Ben, 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 hush, please. I have this horrible headache from continuous sleep deprivation, and you're making it worse. Well, it sounds like you need a little R and R, and I have the perfect solution for you. Do tell. On Tuesday and Thursday of this week, we have makeup EOC testing for ELA two and Algebra one. If you do not have to take these tests, then you get to sleep in because school starts at. Get ready for this. 10:30 yes. a.m. Sleep. You're so welcome, Anna. Next, before we go to weather, a huge shout out to our theater department. They did a fantastic job with Night of the Living Dead. Congratulations to you all. And now onto our regularly scheduled weather segment with Logan. What's up, guys? Fun fact: If you drop your car off at a Nissan dealership and they say they'll look at it in a couple days, they really mean a couple weeks. I mean, what's going on, Nissan? Give me back my car. Moving on, it's going to be cloudy all day with a high of 42 and a low of 33. Also, I lied, it's going to be cloudy all week with some rain Wednesday and Thursday. Air quality is 60, which means it's rising. Oh, surprise, another fun fact. This is due to carbon emissions from your cars around the U.S. sitting in the morning to warm up. But that's all from me, Central. Back to you, Anchors. Thank you, Logan. That was very enlightening. Now, here's what's going on around the school. Well, let's start with this Tuesday and Thursday. Both of these are late starts. As you can see, this is our schedule for the next... For those two days, staff, if you want to freeze the screen so students can take a picture of the schedule. If you are testing, be here no later than 7.50. And if you are not testing, plan to be here at 10.20. If you are testing, you can check your room number at the school store. Plan to get a good night's sleep and eat breakfast before the test. Also on Tuesday, we have a choir concert at 7. Please come out and support your friends. On Thursday, in addition to EOC testing, we have a spirit day. It is holiday in July, so dress like you're headed for a beach vacay. Also on Thursday is the Winter Orchestra Concert. Come out and support your favorite musicians. And then we will end the week with Winter Holiday Spirit Day. Maybe get out those ugly sweaters you have. Plus, Friday, seniors, your pictures are due to yearbook. They need to be sent to Dr. Fuller's email. Have you sent your... We're working on it. We're working on it. <laughs> now, let's take a look at our charming clubs. <laughs> involved in a club, I highly encourage you to step out of your comfort zone, and, comfort zone and do so. Plus, take note of all the fun stuff Diversity Club has planned this week. But there are so much more than just clubs that you can get involved in around here, Central. Let's learn more about that. Take it away, Kylie. Good morning, Central Crossing. Welcome to Monday. I'm Kylie, and I'm here with no one else. Anyways, I have your sports news today. First up, remember that spring preseason is underway. You can condition for baseball, softball, or track and field. It's not too late. Check out the t cafe TVs for more information, especially baseball, which has an updated schedule. We even have fall sports getting underway. Training for the 2023 football season has begun. We will train on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays after school until 5 p.m. All you need is appropriate workout clothes, shoes, and a competitive attitude. If you have any questions, contact Coach White or Coach White, either or. And while spring and fall sports are currently pre-seasoning, winter sports are getting underway. Here's what's happening tonight. Boys freshman and JV basketball are playing away against Franklin Heights. Freshman at 4.30 and JV at 6. Girls varsity basketball is playing away at Grove City Christian at 6. Now, here's what's happening tomorrow. Boys varsity basketball is playing away against Franklin Heights at 5.30. Girls JV and varsity basketball are playing at home against Franklin Heights. JV at 7.30 and varsity at 6. And our Special Olympics has their first basketball game tomorrow at Franklin Heights. It will be after the Varsity Boys game, so we want to get as many fans as we can. This is such an easy road trip. Come out for both games and cheer on the Comets. Good luck to all of our Comet athletes. Crush it out there. Well, that's all I have to say for today. Have a lovely day. Back to you, Ben and Anna. Thanks, Kylie. You're doing great. And good luck to all our Comet athletes. All teams better crush it tonight. And with that, now please rise for the pledge. The pledge stands for so many things in our country and shows another way to support all those who have fought for us. Here's Eddie to lead us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America 
and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Eddie, and thanks to all who participated. I really enjoy how well you made the news today, Ben. You're so welcome, but heed this warning. This month is Ross Lynch's birthday month, and I will not be silenced! Oh, I think I'm going to have to water my cats tomorrow, and for the rest of the month, unfortunately. So sorry I'm going to have to miss that celebration. You're so fake. And you're loud. Quiet down. There's no need to yell at 7 in the morning. Rush Lynch is just too great not to yell about. Well, if you're going to keep yelling, I'm going to have to leave. My headache is killing me. Goodbye. Well, goodbye then. <laughs>